Hey guys, today I decided to show you my list of collective might. This isn't like a deck tech or anything because I really don't know if this is right and that's why I'm showing it to you, not because I think that this is right and this is what you should uh, run, but I mean I'm just going to briefly go through what I have and I, I really don't oops um, I really don't know if this is right and uh, yeah just let me know your opinions on how you think you should run it. I'm basically just running it like an aggro creature deck um, with a couple of tokens and like token helpers but for the most part it's not really focusing on the token theme um, am I missing any I don't know I'm just gonna try and show you all the cards um, you're gonna have to pause them if you want to stop and read them so sorry but I'm not gonna go ahead and read them all out loud that would just take too long um, anyway I don't know if I should be running both of these hand queens. It's probably something better that I could find. But anyway, overrun sweet, and um, it's like one of those cards that um, you can run in in a token deck or in a regular deck. So anyway, that's the list, and um, let's just jump into a game right here. Hopefully, it won't take too long to find. Uh, if it does, then I'll probably cry. But you know, it's just part of the uh, part of the game. Joining. So, yeah, I, I I don't know. I don't. I just don't think that there are enough like good token makers in this deck. If I can actually just run the intangible virtues and really try to make it a token deck, and there's so many efficient creatures that that's what um, made me want to try and run it this way. Um, like that thing that the two two is that's basically a three three. I think it's called Not Vine Paladin. Um, it like, uh, yeah, I'll keep this ant. Um, I've got two anthems in this and this, as well as a midnight haunting. I've got my colors, and now I have a two drop as well. Oops, I hit tab. Tab is like the uh, pass priority button on the computer. Um, so I'm just gonna go grab myself a planes. And it looks like he might be playing mono black, which wouldn't be too much fun for me. Uh, they run a couple of sweepers, but for the most part, they just have a lot of removal, which I don't really want. Um, so let's need a guild mage. I think I'd rather play this not vine paladin. Um, then next turn, I can actually hit for four with it if he doesn't deal with it, um, because I can just play midnight haunting. Yeah, if I just play midnight haunting pre-combat, then I can hit for four and basically force him to use a removal spell here um, if he doesn't want to. Hopefully I'll draw a land, but if not then I still have some plays first, so that's pretty good. Um, yeah, normally I would just save this to unstep to play around in Fest or Mutilate on his turn, but yeah, okay. So I figured he had the murder, but at least it just draws out the murder and he's killing that instead of killing my Wiltleaf Liege. He might have another uh, removal spell for that as well, but at least um, at least it it gives me um, the or it makes him it forces him to use it because he's not going to be able to take four from that thing every turn or three every turn so he's just going to play a, a Liliana Shade here that's fine um, if he's pumping to um, damn that's bad if he's tapping out to use the shade every turn then I am I'm going to be fine. I think I'll be able to win that game. So I'm just going to play this for green green, uh, or for forest forest, and then that leaves me with source of plowshares up. And if he just pumps all the way, then um, I might just swords that. I probably won't. The foul. Target this thing. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I mean, that thing wasn't really integral to my game plan anyway. So he's just going to pump it once. Um, do I want to kill it? I don't think so. I think I want to save that um, in case in case he has something else. And instead, just to make it seem like I don't have anything, I'm just going to do this thing now. That way <laughs> he won't get suspicious that I paused it. Uh, Ant Queen, not great. But I can still play this Wilt Leaf Liege. And hopefully if I draw a couple more lands, I can get Marshall's Anthem out there. But, I mean, I, get, I basically get to get at least two free damage in because of Wiltley Fleege. And hopefully um, more if he doesn't have another removal spell. Um, he's played only two so far, and that deck is just full of them. So there's a good chance that he's got another thing. He might even have, like, a Corrupt here. Or just a Grave Titan. But uh, Grave Titan is definitely something that I had to kill. Um, and it's good that I saved the Swords of Plowshares for it. 
So hopefully I'll draw land. Ooh, it has to be a plains. Yeah, that's not very likely. Okay, Jade Mage. That's good, because I can actually cast this. Um, so we'll play Jade Mage. And I'm just going to attack him in the air. And I'm not going to swing in with my Wiltleaf Liege. And I may as well just Swords his Grave Titan now. Or, actually, I'll wait until he passes priority on begin combat. Yeah. Holy shit. Pause. Pause. Okay, so he's going to get rid of that, and I'm going to get rid of this. So that's fun times for everyone. Um, he can still hit me for a bunch of damage here, and um, he is like not very close to dying, so I might want to just trade off my Jade Mage here, because I'm not going to be using its ability anytime soon, and um, I'm not winning this race, because he's got the Liliana Shade, and I don't really have a way to deal with that at all. <laughs> like, that thing just might kill me. But, um, so yeah, I'm taking 7 here, going down to 11, and I might just have to, like, start chump locking. Alright, drawing that land is really good for me, and it means that I can get this Ant Queen out. Um... Let's see, he's got like seven lands. So I think I can take one more hit from the shade, and I'll just beat in for two here. It's really unfortunate that Swords gave him so much life, but it was pretty necessary. Um, if I draw a land, I'll probably Marshall's Anthem back my Wiltleaf Liege. Uh, Liliana Spectre. I get to choose which one I discard, so I'm going to discard the Wolf Blood. I could get that back actually yeah that's I mean that's obviously the choice oh so he didn't even attack that's good silk lash spider is okay um do I even want to play it so he's got one two three four five six seven eight lands so I think I might rather just make two dudes with my ant queen um, I'll beat him for one that way in case he wants to attack back and I can actually... Oh, so he's just going to trade? That works for me. Pretty happy with that. Hopefully I'll draw land. Oh, shoot. I need to draw planes. I didn't even... Notice. Okay, so if he attacks here, then I can just make a couple of 1-1s. One oh, God. Um, Alright, so he's just pumping forever, but that's fine. Uh, yep. Just activate this ability twice. Make two one ones, chump lock, and um, maybe start attacking him with my ant queen. That'd be fine. All right. Thank God we didn't have to wait for ten resolutions of that. That would be terrible. But if he doesn't have anything, then that works for me. Ugh. That's a forest. Um. Man, I want to see. The problem is. Multi kicker, it costs white, so I can't get my um, my wolf blood back yet. So I think I'm just gonna play my silk lash spider. I don't even know if playing silk lash spider is better than just making two one ones. Either way, I am for sure attacking him. Um, yeah, I guess I'll play silk lash spider. Whatever. Um, oh well, actually, if he's that actually does change things, because I was going to play Silk Lash Spider so that he wouldn't be able to hit me for two with the zombie, but since he doesn't even have the zombie anymore, it's just better to make... Oh, God. I wish I played the Silk Lash Spider. Alright. Let's make some 1-1s. One <laughs> I only have one more chump blocker for that, so that's... It's not great. I really needed... Oh, actually, I can make another. Forgot that I have... Six mana, even though I only I drew the forest, I didn't draw planes. Alright, so I can't even I can't throw them all at it because he's got all that mana. Damn. Friggin' nightmare. That's a good draw for him. It's gonna be tough to beat, but we'll work on it. See what we can do. If I draw the planes, I think I stand a chance. Hero of Blade Hold. Might do it. Let's play it. <laughs> and then ship the turn back. There's no way I'm attacking. He's going to attack me with his nightmare. I'm going to jump block with my flyer. If he. No, even if he draws a removal spell, he can't kill me. Rise from the grave. 
That's bad. <laughs> what is he getting? Really? Okay. Um, I'll discard a Silk Lash Spider. Oh my... Oh no, that's not Sting of Fling Spider. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was... <laughs> that would have been so bad if it was Sting of Fling Spider. Okay. Um, let's actually not jump... Oh. Um, let's not jump block there. That way I can jump block next turn. Even if he plays a plant, uh, swamp, then I don't die. Uh, let's make another dude. And I think if I draw a... Oh, well, Wootleaf Leash might do it too. Um, I think I just attack with everything and win. There's really no other... Well, okay, let's just... Fine, let's calculate it. So... Um, the biggest things will be one, two, so, um, yeah, I definitely am going to win. Because one, two, three, four, five, six are definitely going to get in. Um, and they're all going to have three power. So all I have to do is play this. I could also just play the, the Marshall's Anthem and, um, that'll do it. Just an army. Ant Queen getting there. Making an awesome army of awesome epicness. And then the battle cry goes on the stack. So yeah, I have um, at least five... Oh, actually I have exactly... No, I have six un, uh, three power unblock things. So that'll be 18 damage. So yeah, we managed to get there. Went down to one. Near-death experience. Achievement unlocked. That was a pretty good game. Uh, my opponent drew a lot of lands, but... I mean, they made his nightmare bigger and they... Helped out his Liliana shade, so it wasn't actually the worst thing in the world. But, hope you guys enjoyed that video. Have a nice day. Bye.